Hi, we're Altered Sky, and you're listening to Morgan Richards on Radio Cardiff 98.7 FM. Hey, I'm Morgan Richards from Radio Cardiff 98.7 FM. I'm very pleased to say that I'm joined in the studio today by a band who, in this world, want to live for it and bury it all like a shining white star. It's, of course, those apple tree pop rock lovers from Scotland. It's the wonderful Anna of Alter Sky. Yay! Hi, Morgan. Hi, you right? Yeah, cool. All good. All good. It's great to be here in Wales. <laughs> yeah. So things are good? Yep. Everything's fine. All cool. All cool. I'm loving it. Cardiff rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, fantastic. Great to hear. So, Anna, really, it's quite a busy and exciting time for Alter Sky now. After five glorious and hardworking years where you've just released the first single, Bear It All, to feature from your upcoming and debut studio album, I'm sure after receiving fantastic response from it already, along with the early EPs, you just can't wait to announce details of the record and get out there. Absolutely. This is by far the best thing that we have ever done. And we have waited, like you said, five years for this. <laughs> um, and we were greatly offered to work with Ramesh um, Dorangoda, and he has been absolutely fantastic. We cannot wait to let you guys hear this. It's going to be awesome. Um, we're expecting around 10 tracks, and that's all I can say. And by the end of this year, it's going to be out and everyone's going to be able to hear it. And of course, with the single just being released and fans getting really excited about even more new music now, do you have any really dates in particular or anything time-wise we can expect the record to come out or an announcement? I'm not sure if I, if I can reveal it just yet, but okay. I will say that it's going to be before the end of this year. Okay. Definitely. Um, probably to, towards, towards Christmas, that's all I can really say. Do you want to give us any more little hints? Oh, I don't know, you see? Um, I better not. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, for me, listening to Bear It All, it tends to have a slightly more pop rocky feel to it compared to their alternative style in the early EPs. Is this something we can really expect more of? or? Strangely, um, I, th I think that our, our direction changed. You know, from, from day one, we started writing and it, it was never the same. We were always um, kind of challenging ourselves and trying completely different, well, not entirely different, but different genres. And I think that we've actually found Barry All and a couple of others on the album are the ones that, uh, best way to explain, they stand out for themselves, but the other half of the album is it's, it's very edgy, it's very um, in this world EP that we go back to a little bit, yeah. and it does have elements of Stop and Live in it. A couple of songs from Stop and Live did actually make the album, so that's something as well. Okay, so it's a really mixture of everything. Complete mixture, but I think everything that we've put into it and everything that we've gotten from listening and having it back from Ramesh, it is the best thing we've ever done, and we honestly cannot wait to release this one. Okay, oh fantastic. So do you think there was a much more greater deal of influences and ideas this time around to work on new material? We've had a lot, a lot of songs in the past and we've, it took us a while to pick these ones, these, these, these 10 tracks, um, but they're definitely 10 of the best songs that we have ever written. Okay. Um, they, they do, like, like I said, they do vary. I mean, we might have a little bit of piano in there for the first time as well, um, but our general sound hasn't changed, but we do explore, like I've said, other elements as well and we always love challenging ourselves so yeah. and uh, with all that is there anything else you have hold back on the record that you're very excited and just can't wait to get out there well one of my favorite songs i think i've ever written is on this album and um, we we played it live a couple of times and it seems to have gone down like really well so if i just i just hope that the, re the, the rest of the world when 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 they get to hear that they're going to feel as a connection mm. as much as i as much as i have with it as well and of course, as we've mentioned, you've received some fantastic response over the last five years since starting the band, releasing two EPs in the progress and getting an army of fans. But with this album ready to roll now towards the end of the year, do you feel that it's the right time to take out the sky to that next stage of your career? I think that we've been, we've been sitting on this for some time now. I mean, we recorded it in December and hmm. um, we were originally meant to do it in August. So it's, it's really been about two years that we've been sitting on this album. Okay. We finally got to record it in, in December with Ramesh and it was just the feeling of re relief as well as excitement as well as just everything poured into one and it's it's definitely, you know, the, the, like I said, the best thing that we've ever done. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited that we finally had that opportunity. And, uh, and just a couple more things now before you go. Of course, one of the things I wanted to mention to you is that here in Wales and Cardiff in particular, it's starting to become almost a second home for you guys, where, as you mentioned, you've traveled down here to record the record and your last EP with the wonderful producer Romesh along with Studios. How has it been working with him? 
He is a legend. Full stop. <laughs> um, he's literally the coolest guy in the whole world. I, I felt that he understood where I was coming from musically. And that is something that is so important when, when you're working alongside someone. You know, we're both in the same wavelength. Um, his, his worth ec ethic as well is just, let's do this. You know, it needs to be perfect. It took us a good, I think it was 10 days that we were down. And it took us a good, well, it was pretty much the, f the first half of the week. He really, really pushed, really pushed us like, to, to the limit. And since we finished a little bit early as well, because he was, he was so excited about it, he, he really enjoyed um, you know, some of the songs, some mm. of the lyrics. We actually had a couple of days at the end where we could sort of rethink things just slightly you know, about um, extra harmonies and extra layers. And he, you know, I, to any, any other band or any, any artist out there, I would recommend working with Ramesh. Um, he is the most fantastic person, and he's he's good fun as well. <laughs> you know, he's not he's not just he must work forever. He um, he's a good laugh. He's definitely a good laugh. And uh, of course, now you guys are just currently being on a massive UK headline tour. Maybe we can we expect you guys to be on the road as much as you can for the rest of the year? Or this tour that we just finished was insane. It was amazing. We, we do have a lot of things in the pipeline. Uh, we've got another tour, hopefully, when the album comes out towards the end of the year, which is going to okay. be um, a couple of weeks. So it's going to be another UK one. And uh, we're also working alongside a shop called Pulp as well. And um, this is Pulp, the best shop ever, by the way, closed store. And um, we're going to be doing something with them, um, acoustic sets in store, that's going to be happening towards the end of August. Okay. So, I mean, from now until then, we're doing tour, new video, tour, album. So it's, this is it. This is the big time happening now, and I think that when Christmas comes, we'll be excited about opening presents and opening our album. Yay! <laughs> plenty of things to keep it going to the end of the year. Completely, okay. completely full. Oh, fantastic. And one last thing I wanted to mention to you is that back at the beginning of the year, you guys actually released a covers video on YouTube of Taylor Swift's Blank Space. Uh, back, I understand that you've got a couple of more covers to come sometime in the near future as well. It was definitely something that we enjoyed doing. Um, we we had plans uh, to do to do a couple, but like I've said, it's just everything yeah. now. It's it's trying to find the time to do it. I would I would love to do another cover. We we just played a, a show in Kenny's Music in Glasgow, an acoustic show, and I did a cover of um, The Devil and I by Slipknot. Oh. So I would love to have a video out for that. I think that yeah. would be awesome because Slipknot are an amazing band. And of course, you've mentioned quite a lot of things going on now to the end of the year. But is there anything else we can expect from Up to Sky? coming up very soon watch out for us because we're not going anywhere and we're <laughs> here to stay okay oh fantastic well uh, that's about it uh cheers anna for coming in and having a quick chat with me cool no problem thank you morgan uh, no worries uh, best of luck with everything now and the release of the album and hopefully i can catch up with you guys again very soon definitely thank you All again right. bye